All right, let's talk a little bit about the five approaches to mandolin improvisation. Stage one here is we're simply adding the uh, tremolo to the standard melody, the basic melody, and how that's going to look is if we were to take the song Nine Pound Hammer, and we're going to simply add the tremolo on the end of those phrases. Stage one is simply playing the melody of the song, which requires you knowing the melody, and then adding the tremolo to fill in space at the end of the phrases. Then we go to the approach two, which is simply switching over away from the melody to the chord progression, and we're going to be cross-picking to fill in space with the chords. So for example, if the chords on Nine Pound Hammer were G to C, then we have a half-time G to D, Cross pick that like such. One, two, three, four. C, G, D, G. So that way we'll at least get something that sounds melodic and it doesn't sound like backup. However, this approach also works as backup for vocal phrases, not so much for instrumental phrases because it will sort of mess up the uh, overall sound. Then approach three is where we take one and two, in other words, we take the melody with tremolo, we add some cross picking in there on certain chords, and then we add in the fill licks at the end of the phrases. And level three is where we have the first actual legitimate mandolin improvisation approach. If we were to take the nine pound hammer with that same tack with level three, it might sound something like this. One, two, three, four. Tremolo, cross pick, melody, lick, cross picking, combined the melody with the tremolo, cross-picking on certain select chords, and putting in the fill licks at the end of the phrases. Now with level four, we take all of our licks that we've pre-learned for G, C, and D, and we sort of string them together like Legos to create more of a, uh, a fancier bluegrass approach to the lead playing. Um, it doesn't carry the melody so much. It's better placed as a second or third solo in a jam. But level four playing on nine parent hammer might sound like this. One, two, three, four. predictable and it has that lick feel to it but it's a great way to string the licks together to create a stream of notes without a whole lot of thinking which brings us to level five where we're playing actually legitimate note for note improvisation generally using the bluegrass scale and the other tools like arpeggio scale patterns and pre-chewed riffs that we throw in to create that stream of notes. Once again, it doesn't really pay homage to the melody, but it's a great way to be able to fly around with uh, extemporaneous improvisation on the mandolin without any ties to tremolo cross-picking or pre-chewed licks. And that would sound like this. One, two, three, four.